If you don't know who I am, then maybe your best course would be to tread lightly. How could one of the Drug Enforcement Agency's top agents miss the truth right in front of him? Hank Schrader had the instincts, the experience, and every clue he needed, yet he never saw the criminal mastermind hiding in his own family. Now, if you've watched Breaking Bad, you've probably wondered, how could this happen? I'm Dr. Patrick Hingsep. Today, we're looking at the psychology of denial, why Hank Schrader couldn't recognize the truth about Walter White, and what this reveals about the blind spots we all have. Now, thinking about it, have you ever overlooked something that deep down you just knew was real? A warning sign in a relationship or a, a difficult truth you weren't ready to face? Hank's story isn't just fiction. It's a powerful example of how denial can shape our choices and perception. So let's break down what denial really is and why it has such a hold on us. Hank's blind spot with Walter White isn't just about missing clues. It shows us how our minds can deceive us. Think about confirmation bias, that mental trick where we only see things that back up what we already believe. For Hank, that belief was simple. What was a family man, a simple, somewhat boring chemistry teacher? It's why even when strange things started happening, Hank dismissed any hint that Walt could be involved. Remember when Hank found the lab notebook and put it down to some other cook, never even considering that his own brother-in-law might be tied to it. He even saw the initials WW and joked about it being Willy Wonka. WW. <laughs> I mean, you figure that out, you know. Woodrow Wilson, Willy Wonka. Walter White. <laughs> you got me. It's that confirmation bias at work, letting Hank brush off the possibility that the enemy could be so close to home. Nah, it's not happening here. And then there's normalcy bias, the brain's way of convincing us that life will keep rolling on as usual. To Hank, his world was ordered. Criminals were out there, and his family was safe. So when Walt starts showing an unusual interest in Hank's investigation, asking probing questions about Heisenberg, Hank shrugs it off. His brain can't reconcile that the same person sharing family dinners could be the man he's chasing. The tragedy is that these biases aren't just quirks, they're defenses. Hank's mind clings to the comfort of seeing Walt as harmless, because facing the truth would tear his whole world apart. Ironically, this very denial meant to protect him is what allows Walt's empire to thrive. Our closest relationships can twist our perception. The emotional bond makes it nearly impossible for Hank to view Walt objectively. Think back to that episode in the hospital after Hank's attack, where he's really vulnerable and thankful to have Walt by his side. But your heart's in the right place, man. Your heart's in the right place. We love you, man. We love you. Everybody, to Walt, the Strovia. The Strovia. To Hank, at that moment, Walt isn't just family. He's a source of comfort and support. For Hank, this reinforces the belief that Walt is someone to rely on, not someone to suspect. But you lose your hair, you go on a couple stakeouts, so also you what, your Kojak? <laughs> this connection taps into a psychological phenomenon called willful blindness. It's a defense mechanism where we subconsciously ignore things we don't want to face. If Hank allowed himself to believe Walt might be Heisenberg, it would destroy his idea of family and love and loyalty. So without realizing it, Hank's mind shuts out the uncomfortable signs letting him hold on to the safer version of who he thinks Walt is. This emotional bias doesn't just cloud his judgment. It completely blocks his instincts as a drug enforcement agent, and Walt, sensing Hank's loyalty, uses it to stay hidden, knowing Hank's view of him as family will protect him from suspicion. 
In the end, Hank's bond with Walt isn't just a blind spot. It's the very thing that stops him from seeing the truth, showing how our strongest connections can sometimes be our biggest weaknesses. Now, Hank's identity was deeply tied to his job, to being the guy who could track down the worst criminals. To admit that his brother-in-law was the mastermind he'd been chasing all along would shatter that image. Remember when Mary urges Hank to tell his work colleagues that Heisenberg is Walt. You gotta go in with this, Hank. Look, the day I go in with this, it's the last day of my career. I'm going to have to walk in there, look those people in the eye, and admit that the person I've been chasing the past year is my own brother-in-law. Now, psychologically, this taps into something called ego defense mechanisms. Hank's mind does what it can to protect his sense of self, his image as a sharp, skilled, respected agent. For so long, instead of seeing the truth, he rationalizes thinking, Walt could possibly be the guy. This isn't just denial, it's Hank's ego at work, subconsciously justifying his blindness because facing the truth would mean admitting he'd been completely fooled. There's also a bit of projection happening here. Hank channels his frustration over the elusive Heisenberg into every suspect, every other lead, while completely missing the one person who doesn't fit his mental picture of a criminal. Hank's need to protect his own pride as a top drug enforcement agency agent stops him from seeing the uncomfortable reality about Walt, showing how sometimes it's our own sense of self that blinds us. Hank's denial hits its breaking point when he discovers the Leaves of Grass book. This moment isn't just a plot twist, it's a full-blown psychological crisis. Up until now, Hank has been able to live with two separate beliefs. Walt as his family and Walt as someone harmless. But now faced with the truth that Walt is Heisenberg, these two beliefs collide triggering what's called cognitive dissonance. You hiding something? <clears throat> it's that gut-wrenching feeling when what you thought you knew comes crashing down and your mind struggles to make sense of it. In that unforgettable scene where Hank picks up the book and the realization dawns on him, you can see the shock and the disbelief all over his face. This isn't just about uncovering a criminal. It's about realizing that someone he loved and trusted has deceived him on the deepest level. The mind doesn't just switch gears easily here. Hank goes through the stages of denial, almost like a, like a grieving process. At first, there's pure shock, almost like he can't accept what he's seeing. Then, as reality sinks in, there's a painful shift towards anger. The ultimate confrontation with Walt is when Hank's denial finally shatters. It's a moment of reckoning where the illusions he held onto for so long dissolve, leaving nothing but the raw truth. After Hank discovers the truth about Walt, his world doesn't just change, it shatters. The emotional journey he goes through mirrors the stages of grief, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and finally, acceptance. Initially, Hank is stuck in a state of disbelief, but as the shock fades, it gives away to raw anger. We see this in scenes where Hank's frustration boils over and his sole focus becomes bringing Walt down. He's no longer the funny guy. His face is set in a look of absolute desperation and rage. It's no longer just an investigation, it's personal. The betrayal he feels drives him to the point of obsession, to the point where he's willing to risk everything to expose the truth. Hank's acceptance of who Walt really is changes him completely. He's no longer just a drug enforcement agent doing his job. He's a man on a mission determined to right the wrong that's been done to him and his family, no matter what the cost. This determination becomes a fatal flaw. Hank's acceptance of the truth reshapes his behavior and goals, leading him into dangerous territory with a relentless, all-consuming drive to bring Walt to justice. 
In the end, Hank's story isn't just about his inability to see Walt for who he really is. It's a powerful reflection of a struggle we all share. Denial isn't just a weakness or a flaw. It's a defense, a way our mind protects us from the truths that could shatter the lives we know. For Hank, denial kept his world intact right up until it couldn't anymore. But Hank's journey forces us to ask ourselves, what uncomfortable truths might we be ignoring in our own lives? What parts of our reality are we choosing not to see because facing them feels too hard, too disruptive? Hank's tragic downfall is a reminder that sometimes the biggest lies are the ones we tell ourselves. You want me to beg? You're the smartest guy I ever met. And you're too stupid to see. Do what you're gonna do. So thanks for watching. Now if this video made you think, leave a comment below and click on the next video here.